Hey, guess what I did last week? I picked up my weak, iron-deficient, decrepit body and did the only thing my big account will allow as retail therapy, and I went thrift shopping because there is nothing and truly no one that will be there for me like rank, stank, used clothing. This is a thrift haul, everybody. Thrift haul! Hey! Woo! Originally, I was going to film this, like, standing up and showcasing all of my outfits and talking about them and how I'd style them and stuff like that. And then I realized that I... I, I really don't want to do that. I really don't want to stand. So I'm going to be sitting because I love to sit. I'm a sitting girl. I love minimal effort, but I'm still going to be showing you the clothes and showing you how I style them. Let's start off with this gorgeous wool sweater from J. Crew. I found this in a men's section of the thrift store where all the best clothing objectively is. So I saw it and was like, <laughs> you're coming home with me. <laughs> Get it? TikTok's out. <laughs> I've come to a pretty firm and concrete understanding about myself, and that is that my favorite color is green. Not a sage green, not an olive green, barf, but a forest green, like a fourth grade crayon green, a true green. And ever since then, a forest green and I have been living happily ever after. What can I say? Anyway, when I saw this on a rack, it's almost comical how quickly I grabbed it. Like, I didn't even think about it. I was like, oh, green sweater. Oh, it's mine. It's, that's, that. That was literally it. Sweaters like these are my favorite because they're so easy. They're so easy. They're so easy to wear. They're easy to style. You really don't have to think about it. Something just feels very effortless about this sweater. I feel like a dad who golfs and just sent his last kid off to college. And now it's just me and my wife and our big old house left to completely hate each other and utterly regret monogamy. I've really, really been pairing them with these shoes. They're... Oh my god, I don't have them. Hang on, hang on, wait. I'm gonna go get them. Hang, what? Wait, hang on. I have really been liking them paired with these bad boys. These are, I think they're Onitsuka Tigers. They're like, um, they're Asics. My brother called these ugly and pseudo-masculine shoes. My friends call them grandpa shoes, dated, Harris Teeter shoes. And you know what? You know what? They're haters. They're haters and they're all going to help. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. I didn't thrift these, so... I'm not going to talk about them too much, but I think the greens and both of these items pair together really nicely. I've been wearing that sweater and shoe combo with every single thing. I wear it with jeans, with skirts. I wore it with um, this maxi skirt that I really love. Very simple black skirts that I thrifted back in Seoul. As well as just these regular black pants that I also happened to thrift last week. Black pants? Black pants? Speaking of black pants. Hmm, speaking of black pants. <laughs> why, why don't we just segue? Why don't we just segue into these black pants? Oh my god, I put down my viewfinder because it's really distracting. I hope that was all in focus. If not, I'm literally going to kill myself. I've said it many, many times. Actually, wait, no, probably not. I've said it at least once. And that is that I love a slack. I do. I love a slack. I love a slack. I love like a straight, wide leg, big pant. I love... I love that was a lot. But I do. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. However, these pants are really nice because they're not a slack. They have like a fabric and a silhouette and a feel that is a whole lot more casual, which is really, really nice. Not wide leg, not high waisted, just plain black pant. Oh, these really are such a no brainer. You can pair them with anything that you want. You can pair them with, 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 with boots, with sneak boots. No, stop, stop, shut up. With boots, with sneaker, what? With, you, you, <laughs> my brain is actively rotting. My brain is actively rotting and I'm dying from dementia. I forget I have like a whole speech impediment and lately it's been like really, really bad. And it's really messing up my flow. <laughs> When I want to like film, it sucks. Anyway, like I was saying, you can pair these pants with anything, anything. You can dress them up, dress them down, anything, anything. You can wear them with sneakers, with loafers, with boots, anything you like. Um, they're a little bit long on me, so I do like fold the waistband down just once. And because the Pinterest girlies, uh, uh, those dickies look like, those dickies are, those, 
I'm not even gonna get into like my fashion critique because people are gonna like think I'm bullying. Because the Dickies, Pinterest girlies, um, have made folding down like the waistband of your pants a trend, I can do it and it doesn't look ridiculous. So thank you to them. They are stronger than the Marines. I just, oh, here it is. Oh my God. Can you just, can you get a grip, please? Sorry, 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 sorry. That was my bad, sorry. This is a beanie. I saw it, I wanted it, so I got it. Oh, it's not a vibe. It's coming off like a lot brighter in person, but the colors are a lot more, they're a lot darker and like a little bit more muted. Am I a beanie person? Let's, let's test that theory, let's see. No, 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 I'm not, I'm not a beanie person. I'm not, I just don't have a beanie head. This is making me so upset each and every second. Wow, this looks really, really, really bad. Why did I buy this? I'm taking this off. That was, that's embarrassing. I'm taking Something about the color scheme and stitch just felt really nostalgic when it comes to this beanie. I mean, that doesn't look like too, too bad. What if I, hang on. Oh no. I look ridiculous. Uh, <laughs> I look like I manipulate you, then give you chlamydia, then ghost you. You know, I think that one was a lapse in judgment. I will be giving it to one of my two good friends who have beanie heads, who have hat heads. I, I, I don't have a hat head. I don't have a hat head. I don't have a hat head, and that's okay. Wow. <laughs> that, that didn't sound too good. How's about a more summer appropriate item, huh? Jorts. These are dark wash jorts from Wrangler. As someone who was personally victimized by the American Apparel, Lana Del Rey, Brandy Melville, Tumblr era of high waisted sh uh, shorts. I, I I appreciate this. I love a good jort. I love a good jort. I love a good jort. I don't need a coochie cutter. I I really don't. Like I'm really really good. I mean, what can I say? I'm just I'm just super modest. I'm not a whore. <laughs> These are pretty much a staple for me every single summer. They can be styled so many different ways. So many ways. So many ways. <laughs> these were in the goodwill bin already cut and already distressed like this so i'm pretty sure they were just like a diy project from someone who like finished and was just like nah nah um and for that i thank you thank you thank you they're a little bit bulky just a little bit a little bit too bulky but they're wrangler jorts so you tell me you know you know it's like i'm gonna get the jorts <laughs> I'm gonna get the jorts. <laughs> I'm gonna get the jorts. I picked up a tie. This is my second one in my ever-growing tie collection. I really, really like the color scheme of this one. It's giving rich private school kid. It's giving captain of the Batman team. The captain of the Batman team is probably a loser. I just, I just realized that. I styled a tie in one of my outfits in New York and I went out that night and people were like, oh. Oh my god, a tie. <laughs> These are outdoor cargo slash hiking pants from Columbia. The brand, Columbia. <laughs> Not the country. I didn't try them on before purchasing them, and they're a little bit tighter on the thigh than I thought. <laughs> I think these pair with a plain t-shirt are go-to very casual summer fit, especially for running errands or going grocery shopping or something like that. That is all for my recent thrifted pieces these are pieces that i thrifted a few months ago in the winter very much no longer in season but still worth mentioning this is a graphic sweater from urban pipeline also <laughs> also it's also green it's also green what can i say i mean it's also green it's it's green really comfortable perfect sizing i think it very much gives elliot from euphoria it, it i pray to god that sound is not getting picked up by microphone this is why I use the microphone when I film my videos. It gives Elliot from Euphoria. It gives let me see how you taste or whatever godforsaken line he said in that show. It gives skinny biracial drug addict who skates and also plays the guitar. It gives like, what about it? Like, like, oh, like, oh, like, oh, like, I'm just a cool, like, oh. <laughs> this is a leather jacket that I got at the absolute very, very last minute because I planned my, I planned my New York outfits beforehand and I knew I needed, I, okay, I knew I needed, 
okay i knew i needed a leather jacket there we go is it my dream leather jacket no is it like a perfect no 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 also the pockets are like fully ripped <laughs> i pointed it out to the cashier and then she went on to immediately charge me full price for it like immediately she was like okay 899 i was like okay all right well okay I'm actually gonna kill him. I'm gonna strangle him. I'm gonna wring his neck. I'm really trying, you guys. I'm trying to finish this video. I'm trying, I'm trying, I'm trying. I'm trying so hard. In retrospect, that was... In retrospect, that was really not worth eight ninety nine. It wasn't. It wasn't. Listen to me and listen to me very, very carefully. I have been on the hunt for a pleated black slack for over a year over a year not like a wide leg like a high-waisted wide leg like my uniqlo ones hang on where are you like these no no no, no. also not a mid-rise pleated slack that's like too short on my legs like these ones from new york and company also no also a no although i got these for like 50 cents from the goodwill bin and they will always slay. But a classic pleated black slack. A slack. I was about to order some from Aritzia, which even if I did, I probably wouldn't have liked them. I had a very specific, like particular item in my head for a pleated black slack. I think like the day after I was online looking at Aritzia's pants, I went thrift shopping and i saw these the fitting rooms were in fact closed so i just bought them on a whim and prayed i just hope for the best these are the perfect black slack the perfect pleated high-waisted or mid-rise because i wear them mid-rise um because i have like a short torso and long legs, whatever they're the perfect slack the perfect slack you can dress it up dress it down will never fail will never fail never fail think about what one item would describe you as a person like an amalgamation of everything that makes you 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 know what embodies you as you what what item is that for me it is a pleated black slack through and through 100 percent. and they fit my legs they're actually maybe even a little bit like too long they fit they fit they fit oh my god oh, oh okay lastly i have two bags um that are Co both coincidentally green they are they're green okay oh my god oh my god oh, i have to defend myself they're green oh my god this one is very similar to like the zipper pencil pouches that would completely undo like the ones we would use in elementary school but it's entire bag which is pretty cool the design is super cool it's a crossbody i love 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 a good crossbody i love a good crossbody love 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 it. there are no pockets and there's practically like no structure so when you put stuff in you basically just like plop it in and go like digging through your stuff but it was three dollars so we do not complain this is a bag that is not thrifted but it's handmade my friend zoria crocheted this entire thing for me as a little b-day gift and i wanted to include it in the video because it's really sweet and also like look at it like oh it's sick i love it um that's it that's all the clothes i have to show you i'm constantly torn between wanting to curate like a very small wardrobe with only staples and then having like a huge 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 big closet like emma chamberlain type stuff type crap <laughs> you sustainable hoes don't don't even don't even don't do not talk to me about overconsumption and carbon footprint i do not care i'm here to slay sorry i'm here to slay and that's it thank you for watching if you've made it this far bye loser bye loser whatever major loser <laughs>